right, so just from this shot alone, most of you are going to know what's going to happen here. So, <clears throat> apparently I've caught the bug. So, we're going to be trying to make a forge burner today. This will not be a how-to, it will be a how I did. And win or lose, I'll show you what happened. This is three-quarter inch pipe. This will be the main tube of the burner. This is a one inch T. These two will be the air intakes. And I have a reducer to take this down to three quarter, which will allow for mass quantities of air in compared to the tube. This is a one inch to three quarter reducer. That goes down here on the end. This will be the flame holder while it's not in the forge. And I'm planning once I get a forge built and everything, I'm planning on not leaving that on there. The forge will become the flame holder. The rest of this will be the parts that actually bring the gas to the forge in the way that it needs it. So three eighths nipple and a cap. That will be drilled and tapped for a MIG tip. Backside will have the Street 90 and a valve. And then this will go out to the propane tank. The basic idea here. is to do a small jet of propane down the tube which will draw air in through these openings and ignite it at the end of the tube and as it burns off it'll draw more air the more pressure you give it the more air it's going to pull the harder your flame is going to be so since this will be our delivery system we have to get this resting on the inside of this T so I have a three quarter inch hole saw. I will drill that out. This part fits up in here, this direction, as far as it'll go. And it'll rest right there, centered over this tube. Every part that I can, I will weld. I'm probably not gonna weld any of these parts. I'll just run these down wrench tight. But when it comes to the actual fuel delivery I'll weld everything that I can and this nipple is going to get welded into the top of this T. Note none of these are galvanized. None of it is galvanized. Welding galvanized is bad news. I don't know what all the dangers are but I'm scared to find out the hard way. So anyway my first step is going to be to fit this bit into this bit. So I'm gonna make a little flat spot at the top here, find dead center, and try to drill a three quarter inch hole in the top for this nipple to fit into. So now I need to get this MIG tip into this cap.
Alright guys, so I got all the welding parts done. The uh, MIG tip is installed with some Teflon. This uh, Street 90 is welded to my 3 8 nipple, which is welded to the cap that is holding the MIG tip. And welded to the uh, 1 inch T. So now, I'm going to get some tape on this thing and get my valve installed. And this is an adjustable pressure regulator. Goes from uh, 0 to 20 and a needle valve that I scavenged off an old turkey fryer. I don't have a uh, pressure gauge for this yet, yet. But I will be getting one so that I'll actually have some quantifiable way to control this thing without any guesswork. Alright guys, so I'm um, kind of chicken shit. I took it outside to check it the first time. Um, <laughs> but, uh... That's her. That's her with the legs off. I have a burner. Pretty neat. If everything goes as planned, then uh, we're going to start building a forge next week. Guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. See ya.